Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi. In this video, I will share to you how to compile and install the Dev 3D uh, 4, which is a uh, structured uh, grid uh, Dev 3D. Uh, as you know that Dev 3D has uh, three version, which is a uh, Dev 3D structured grid and unstructured grid. So in this video, I will just focus on Dev 3D structured grid. So uh, as you know that Dev3D is an open source software that facilitates the hydrodynamic, uh, morphodynamic with motor quality and also the particle modeling. So you can get this software free of charge. So uh, to get this software, we have two uh, step, two ways to obtain or use Dev3D, which is the first is uh, using the binaries that compiled by data areas, which is uh, this, this uh, you need to pay to get the binaries. And last, uh, the source code. Lah. So source code, uh, free of charge, but we need to compile uh, on your own. So, uh, so I will show the step by step how to compile and use the uh, Dev3D software. So, uh, so uh, before we start to compile the software, there is a there is a required software to install this. The first is uh, SVN. SVN is uh, responsible to uh, download the source code from data server. The second is a uh, Microsoft Visual Studio two thousand nineteen including the C++ compiler. Uh, we can get this uh, Visual Studio freely, free of charge. So uh, I will show later. And this, these are the module that needed in the Visual Studio in order to compile the source code. Uh, third is uh, Intel Fortran compiler. Uh, this also can get uh, free of charge in uh, Intel website. And lastly, Python version 3.8 or newer. So uh, first of all, we need to register the DataRest account. So in order to register, you need to uh, you need to register at their website. So you can click register here. So uh, you need to click create a my DataRest account. So, uh, uh, you just uh, need to uh, fill, fill, the, uh, fill the blend and then also create the data rest account. So, in my case, I, I've already registered. So, uh, I will proceed to uh, install the required software. The first is uh, Tortoise SVN. So, we need to have the Tortoise SVN to get the uh, open source file from the data rest of, uh, server so in this you can download uh, whatever version but uh, preferable for 64 bit and newer so you can click the click here and it will download and install okay uh, the second software is uh, uh, so uh, you wait uh, for uh, downloading and then you just install and we will proceed to uh, next step lah. so uh, second is uh, you need to have a visual studio uh, microsoft visual studio 2019 or newer so in this case we have visual studio 2022 you can get uh, free on community version so we just click the free download here then uh, it will download the uh, installation setup so uh, in order to install the visual studio you need to click here and then it will show you this uh, module what you need to install so uh, to install this you need to uh, install the individual component uh, according to the what module uh, what module are needed in a 
uh, Delft three D compilation. So in this module, you can get from uh, Delta Res soft, uh, Delta Res uh, Delta Res website. Uh, they will uh, they will show you this module we uh, are needed to install. So in my case, I have already uh, uh, select my uh, component according to the required module. So you just install and download, uh, download and install. So it will install according to this uh, individual component. So uh, uh, this, the third is uh, you need to have uh, Intel Fortran compiler according to the third required uh, software, which is Intel Fortran compiler version 18 or newer. So in this case, uh, Intel have provide uh, the Fortran compiler. Uh, so uh, in order to install the Intel uh, Intel Fortran compiler, you need to have these two uh, software, which is Intel One API based toolkit and Intel One API HPC toolkit. So you need to download these two and install uh, Intel One API base first. After that, you need to install the Intel API HPC toolkit. So after you install uh, these, uh you will notice that uh the intel compiler will automatically uh install in in uh visual studio so as you can see in tools uh tab you can see that install fortran module have been installed so uh so uh we have a uh, visual studio and intel fortran compiler Install. So lastly is Python. So Python, uh, you need to install in uh, Microsoft Store. Okay. After you uh, click the Microsoft Store, you search Python, and then it will show up the Python three point ten. So you just install. In in my case, I have already installed the Python. Okay. So uh. We have uh, already uh, uh, complete the part one, which is uh, installation of required software. So after that, on next video, uh, I will cover on part two, how to compile the source code. So, okay, thank you.